Can we separate the truth from the lies with the Fab Five? Let's talk about that! Good Mythical Morning. And please welcome Absolute Icons and host of Queer Eye, whose new season is streaming now on Netflix, The Fab Five, Tim, Anthony, Bobby, Karamo, and Jonathan. Give us one of these. Oh, oh, we got it. Oh, 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 we got it. Oh, 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 We've never done this before. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, guys. <laughs> we could have done that better. We could have done that better. Yeah, Hold yeah, on. Yeah, 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 Here we go. Right. Did no. I just like, and you got titties. I'm like, it, it was almost there. There we it's go. Not hard. I get your really earlobe. Yeah. I think you should grab your breasts. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the rest of this will go better than that. Uh, no, okay. don't bet on it. Now, y'all are, are kind of known for, I think, this is how I would characterize it. Go on, tell us about being us. Being honest with people. <laughs> right? Because yes. if you need to help someone evolve, you need to be truthful with them. Yes. You, you got to be honest with them so they can know how they need to uh, level up, so mm-hmm. to speak, right? Come on, Sierra. But, what, <laughs> <laughs> but wouldn't it be more fun to lie to people? Yes. Yeah. 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 It'd be much Isn't easier, it? too. Even without that build up, just say, wouldn't it be nice to lie? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. That's right. W- but we'll just talk about uh, your hair and my hair later. Yeah, we can if you like. I'd, I'd like to put a pin in that because yeah. that would be special. In your hair. I'd love to hear more about yeah. it. Yeah, I, I said earlier that you were the straight version and you were the straight version. Can y'all see it? Is and it, I said it's something true. that it's was true. funny that. <laughs> <laughs> I was very honored. All right, we're going to help hone your lying game today by playing a game about lying. You ready? Yes. 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 Oh, yeah. Let's do it. It's time for Liar Liar Super Fashionable Pants on Fire with the Queer Eye Fab Five, of course. Welcome to the Fab Five and Four Lies Zone. All right, each round, each of the Fab Five is going to share a story about something crazy that they have experienced. However, only one of them will be telling the truth. The rest will be lying. <laughs> the truth is what we're going to have to point out. Whoever's better at identifying the truth teller gets to join the Fab Five for one of their iconic transition between wow. scenes oh. dances. That's one of the better prizes. What a prize. Oh. One of the better prizes oh. we've ever had. On the show. I, I, I did that last time though, and it wasn't a prize. <laughs> 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 What, what happened? You had to do it with yourself, right? With you. You've oh. forgotten so soon. <laughs> Roll the footage, please. Oh. Have you ever okay, felt yeah. more special? It'll be better this time, Bobby. You were so memorable. I promise. <laughs> I, I perform just like I do in all those dance interstitials. Oh, so comfortably. Poorly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and there's I'm actually something at stake for y'all because if any of you successfully fools one of us and we think that you're telling the truth about something you're actually lying about, in every round, somebody could win the expert Fibber bibber, which is probably a bib, just so you know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. okay, first round is the song and dance round. So the stories are themed. Oh, I like this. Okay. Mm. Tan, do you want to go first? Oh. No, there's too much pressure. <laughs> right. Karamo, you want to go first? Sure. So they already know this, but when I was younger, I started doing poetry slams to sort of like get out my frustration when I was not feeling good. Um, I started when I was. 12 and stopped for a little bit then started back when I was 18 and still do it to this day here in LA. I do it because I need to get my frustration out just to be able to talk about it because you know I'm someone who deals with a lot of emotions. Um, But one time recently I got booed because it was really really sucky and it was because I was drunk from the night before. Uh, (laughs) I like like to drink out of my ass. I like to have a cocktail at three. And um, it was the worst. Love a Sean Should you just keep saying like the two words over and over no, again. No, literally, I thought I was getting deep talking about like the Black Lives Matter movement, and it was not good. Like 2020 screwed us all up, and it oh, just wow. got worse and worse and worse. And you know what? It might be happening again, so I'm gonna uh, move on. To the next. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna quit my career. <laughs> you know I love you. Okay, all right, okay, all right. Anthony. Okay. So um, one of my first jobs in New York, um, when I got my green card, relevant detail, but I'm all about them. Um, I was a <laughs> cater waiter, and it was like this like really douchey company that was like, you kind of like, mo- they hired models to be cater waiters. Anyway, the company grew, and it was actually my first paid gig as a private chef. Mostly we did like uh, bar mitzvahs and bat mitzvahs in Jersey, and they would pick us up on 34th. 
and I had to sign an NDA going into it, which wasn't out of the norm because we did a lot of entertainment parties. So I was kind of prepared for that. We show up, Central Park West. So it was the first one that I did in the city in this insane penthouse apartment that was three floors that wasn't fully done for somebody very famous from a very problematic family. Wasn't the Trumps. I was but just I'm still not, I'm still not allowed to say it, but like. The Biden. No, but kind Biden. of. You can, it could be a lot. The Kardashians? It was kind of adjacent to them. The Kennedys. It was, stop. <laughs> so. Are they a political party? The I show up, I show up for this birthday party ready to make food, and I made my famous hors d'oeuvre, which is very thinly Guacamole. cut, big eye. <laughs> it made yeah. Sorry, shush, shush the front door, pal. <laughs> and I did it all by myself, I'm not even kidding. And then I get there, and there's a big bowl at the entrance on this like weird column situation, and people started putting their keys in. Uh, it was a sex party. Uh, uh, oh, you took so long to get to the punch. Wait, wait, wait. Why were, they serving, was so why were they serving food then? Because it was like a cocktail dinner party and I was told that it was gonna be a birthday. Link has a question. This makes sense. Yeah. Is that it? Could you take more? Yeah, I guess I'm done. Yeah. Yeah, we, this is, we, we can ask clarifying questions but once we gotta wait okay. to the end. Oh, your rebuttal's gonna come later? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, hot. Okay, is it my turn? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Growing up, I always wanted to be a dancer. I was going to be a dancer. When I moved to LA in my 20s, I started taking these dance classes and I loved it. Also, one time I ran into this girl and I was like, oh my God, you look exactly like Amanda Seyfried. And she was like, I am Amanda Seyfried. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so I, I literally did the ballet class with literally Amanda Seyfried in like 2010. So fast forward a few years, Queer Eye happens. And like when I would go back to my dance classes that I used to go to, it was like kind of annoying. It was like a lot of selfies. It was a lot of like, I couldn't like, if I messed up or did something stupid, I felt more like, cause people knew who I was. Right. So then I started dressing up as a straight guy to go to my <laughs> classes. I was like, I was just like, I'll stay in the back. I'm gonna do a little tiny disguise. So I would wear like a baseball hat. I would put my hair in the little baseball hat hey, hey, and I would wear up? like, <laughs> <laughs> I would wear, so I would just try to like do like straight accents. My favorite name that I ever said because straight I got taken accents? off. I got taken, <laughs> I got, I got Show taken, us a straight accent. I got taken Please. off guard and the teacher was like, the teacher was like, hey, excuse me, what's your name? Like, I, when you're doing that, I really want you to extend it. I was like, Rex. <laughs> oh. Rex. 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 Um, I said Rex. That was your straight accent? Yeah, I did. Uh, <laughs> I just said Rex. Rex, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my story, is I would, like, try to, like, dress up in little, like, straight man disguises to go to ballet and jazz classes. Straight okay. accents. Legit dancing. Yeah. Bobby. Bobby. All right. So when we were filming in Japan, we were filming with the amazing Kiko... Mizuhara. Mizuhara. She was kind of like our, our guide in Japan. Okay. And so one night I was over at her house and she was like, oh, this friend of mine is coming over and everybody thinks we're dating. I was with you that yeah. night. <laughs> everybody <laughs> thinks we're dating just because we like commented on each other's Instagram once. But she's like, we're not. She's mm -hmm. like, I have a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So we're sitting at her kitchen table and the doorbell rings. And, and it's the Hunter door Biden. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, where's my laptop? Uh, the door opens and it is Harry Styles. And we're all like, wait, Harry Styles is the person that everybody thinks you're dating. Yeah. So we end up- And it was up, very well publicized It well. very was well publicized. And so we end up like going out to bars and having fun. And then we end up at this like, like little eight seat karaoke bar. Me, Harry, Kiko, uh, Rina, singing, and Kramo singing karaoke together. Uh -huh. And singing Harry karaoke. reached over and ASMR we style. Sang, we okay. sang Whitney Houston. Japan yes. Harry Styles. Yes. Okay. And tan. Okay. My husband and I have been married for... Uh, <laughs> don't make fun of how it's husband. <laughs> Who's my me? husband and I have been married <laughs> for about 15 years. Um, and we, we're not good at anniversaries, but on our third anniversary, we forget them most years, but on our third anniversary, we did actually remember it. And we haven't remembered an anniversary really since then, but we have a tradition since then. So, <laughs> would, let me get there. And so, we were getting ready to go out to dinner. I like to dance with my husband. Uh, I don't dance well, but I was dancing with my husband. You danced great, you were, Tan. You, so you were well dancing tan. your husband? I was dancing for my husband. Oh. You danced oh. great. Oh. And when you start riding like like that little hit, baby. Oh, my. 
<laughs> this is a PG show. Long story short, I was dancing in the bathroom. <laughs> in the bathroom, yes. In the bathroom. Uh, and I slipped and fell and hit my head and I got a concussion. We went to the hospital. So instead of celebrating our first anniversary that we were meant to celebrate, that we actually remembered, we didn't actually go out to dinner. We spent it in the ER. And every year around about our anniversary, because we always forget our anniversary. But we No, we, <laughs> no, well, you know, we take a little jello shot because um, that's what they, they give you a, je- a cup of jello. Uh, with alcohol? Oh, that's sweet! No, they, give you, they give you like a jello cup. When How did this turn into a sweet story? Oh, I know. Yeah. So they give you a jello cup. Anyway, so now we do a jello shot in our anniversary. I knew about the concussion, every... but I didn't know about yeah. the jello. No, he does like. Let's edit that. But I tried to. A... <laughs> Go! <laughs> okay. Can you guess who's lying? <laughs> Thank you, Karamo. <laughs> um, Ashley, let me ask you this before you go. Is it difficult or do you feel like you know? Oh, I don't know. Oh. I do not know. <laughs> wow, you guys suck Because this. only one person is telling the truth, right? right? Isn't that how one. this works? Well, do you have any rebuttal questions? Yes. Yeah, yeah we got to go with rebuttal. Jonathan. Yes. Uh, what would, do you want? I would like to see an impersonation would, of Rex. I would. A little, a little Rex dance <laughs> that he okay, might, okay, that he might do in uh, <laughs> dance. Like, no, okay. Ah! Like the front of the class is up there, and I would just be like, in those heels. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is this with the? What is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just over it. Very Bro, very, I don't want to be very, here. Very, very okay. straight. Very straight. Tan, what flavor was the original Jello? It better be green. Got it with so many years ago. Well, uh, truly, I can't remember what the original was, but we get whatever was available at the store. I honestly but cannot. Whatever Jello shots they're selling what at your local store. Is it Jello <laughs> mix? Tan, do you make the jello in the cup or do you make the jello we make in, it in a, a tin? When now, I don't know how they make it at the hospital, but when we make it, <laughs> when we make it, we make it in a measuring jug, obviously. And then, well, you made this so easy for them. Oh, really? I love making it in a measuring <laughs> jug. A measuring dish? No, okay. shut up, you idiot. <laughs> I quit <laughs> this show. I'm working with idiots. Yes, we don't buy a Jello cup. We buy the damn mix. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I think we're ready. Okay. okay so then we're trying to figure out who's telling the truth. My answer, I would say, has um, just like a fifty-five percent confidence. My confidence faded there at the end, but I'm still going with Tan. I believe. I agreed. <laughs> Wait, really? Not to that. Make, not to make about me. But why did you believe that? Should have gone with your first. Thank you so much. Thank you so all right, much. All right, so now you that you're really standing, may the, may the, the truth teller remain standing. Do you want to sit? No, I'm going to first have to show you how I dance. My, no, <laughs> um, that was a dance I did for my husband. Um, what you should know. Huh. What you should that know. was such a lie. It was, it was a, a lie. lie! You really thought you was so lie. good! You idiots, you tried to ruin my <laughs> life! I was so good! I am an idiot. He actress. got it! Okay, he was give him right. a bib! No, no, give him a bib! Okay, I'm going to give me my dumb oh, but, it really goes to show, but it really goes to show that you guys do not know him because that was such an obvious Wait, it's an lie. Like, obvious. Like, I mean, he wasn't making eye contact. He was being so evasive. Like, so evasive. All, all of his body. I even said we made it said, easy for you. When you I said it, I thought that you were, were you were messing what, with us. What color? And he doesn't remember the color. No, that, that, so that's why I actually went with him because I thought you were trying to get us. Bold of you to assume he's not clever. Bold. Man. You both really screwed so, up. So, Bobby, this really happened. This really happened. You okay. Gonna... Really? I thought mine was so good. Okay. Just because you both have impeccable grooming and styling and beauty choices, you're attractive, <laughs> heterosexuals, does not mean that you can lie on me like that. You're both frauds and phonies. Um, you should know this now before we get further in. They are terrible losers. <laughs> <laughs> And now the final round, mm. which I'm told is oh, the danger gosh. round. Danger. Dum dum dum. Who would like to go first? This. Uh, time? You want to go that way? Let's you go reverse. Again? Yeah. Okay. We'll go this way. Okay. Picture it. I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially fibber. with that bib. Fibber, fibber, make me shiver. <laughs> yeah. um, I live in Salt Lake City, Utah. This is a fact. Um, I've been there for 15 years, um, and a few years ago. 
when I was filling up at the gas station. Um, you know how uh, in England you can't just leave your um, gas pump thing in your car because we don't have the thing that keeps it pumping. Right, you that's why pump. I never visit. Yeah. Right, you <laughs> so, so it's safe. It is such a stupid <laughs> idea. Um, I left it in the um, pump yeah. whilst I was in my car. If you've ever been to Salt Lake City, we have elk almost everywhere and you will see them regularly enough. Yes, okay. Uh, there were elk around the car that were getting very aggressive too. They, I couldn't get out of the car to get my pump and so I started to panic and I started to drive off, not realizing that, not remembering because I was so panicked that my pump was still- Oh no, Tanny. And we pulled out the uh, <laughs> pump. And uh, instead of stopping and telling the attendant, because I, uh, I was a public person at that point, I felt really stupid. And so I just drove off. And then later on that day, my husband went and said, look- Look on my, Twitter, there's a video of you. No, <laughs> my, <laughs> my right. husband did something really stupid and how much it will it cost to repay? And very nicely, they were big Queer Eye fans and they said, it's okay, we'll take care of it. Oh, but I, I wanna ask a follow-up question now. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Is there, did you drive off, did the thing stay, where did it detach? Right. From your car where did you go to law from school? the pump? That was a really good, <laughs> that was a good, that was good. That was a good question. I, well, I had no idea. Uh, um, well, I wouldn't know either, so it's a good question. Uh, uh, the metal mm. part that you actually put in, the Nozzle. tube part is what ripped out. So the metal part stayed in. I thought that mm. my just drove, uh, driven off and it wasn't in there. You weren't dragging hose. I wasn't mm. dragging hose. Not that day. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, Bobby. Okay. All right, so another Japan story. When we were filming in Japan, I got to Japan a few days before the rest of the Fabbers. And the first day I like go out, I go to Starbucks. And then like an hour or two later, I go, remember that little grocery store yeah, in the first floor? I love that yeah. place. So I went downstairs to go get groceries <laughs> and I was coming back <laughs> and in really the lobby, it was really cute. Really? in the lobby was yes. this guy standing there with a Starbucks mug and a Starbucks gift certificate. And he goes, hi, I'm Mishi, I love you. And I was like, Hi, you know, and I didn't think much of it. That happens all the time. And he's like, I have a gift for you. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. Someone named like, Mishi tells you their name. I'm Mishi changing all the, the name. Time. I'm changing the name. <laughs> um, and so he's like, can I get a photo? And I was like, yes, of course, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right, thank you. And it wasn't even registering yet that this guy was in the lobby of the building we lived in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I went back upstairs and did my thing. So the next day, I again went down to the little grocery store to get some katsu or whatever I was getting. And I come back and he's standing in front of our building this Is time. Is it near the McDonald's? And at that yeah. point, I was like, mm, and he's like, hi, I'm Mishi, I love you. And he's holding a box of sleep Your masks. Your hair. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's holding a box of sleep masks oh, and all I'm over, and, and like sleepy tea. Oh, and all oh. over the box it says, I love you, I love you. And then on the box it says, you look tired, you should rest. And I was oh. like, first of all, Right. True. <laughs> Screw you. I'm not tired. But then I was like, okay, this you is creepy. This is creepy. He's trying to give me something to like make me pass out. So I was like, okay. And he's like, can I get a photo? And I'm like, yeah, right. Thank you. And then I ran back upstairs. Huh. Um, and so the next day we decided to like go around the city. We hadn't started filming yet. They weren't getting there till the next day. And so we walked around for like 45 minutes. And then we got on a train for like another hour and a half, okay. way out into the suburbs. Uh -uh. And then we walked around for another two hours. -uh. And then we had lunch. And when we came out of this restaurant, again, hours Hi. away from my home. Hi, I'm Mishi, Mishi I, love I love you. you. And he had this card where he had cut out pictures of me that I've never even seen before. And he was really, really lovely. But at that point, I was really creeped out. Yeah. And so we, the next day we start filming and our, our translator was telling us about how amazing Japan is. She's like, yeah, there's no crime. She's like, the only crazy crime we've had recently was a stalker like killed this celebrity they were stalking. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Does anybody on the Fat Five remember this? Actually, yes, I do. You do? I do. Yeah, me too. I remember it as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, Jonathan. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay, so I don't know if you guys like follow my gram or anything, but I'm really into gardening. Really, I have five cats, three dogs, seven chickens. I think that might be against the law in Austin. Okay, oh, that, <laughs> actually no, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I once sharded in the back of the car with Tana My Anthony. car! Yeah. So here's the thing. The seven chickens. I'm minding my own business. My husband installed That's like a light true. detector, like or like a motion <laughs> yeah, detector around the chickens business. because we have raccoons, we have coyotes, but there's just a lot of predators like that will eat your chickens. And I really love our chickens. They are so cute. Their names are Jennifer, Clarissa, Beyonce, Solange, Irene. <laughs> 
So the sun's going down, the motion detector thing goes off, my husband has an app and it's like there's something around the chicken coop. So I go down there and look and there's these two raccoons and uh. raccoons will eat your chicken. So I'm freaking out. So I grab this rake and I like start swinging on these raccoons. Like I'm swinging on them for my life. <laughs> raccoons like, can be aggressive. They can be aggressive. Yeah. And so anyway, I trip, I fall, I drop my little rake and this <laughs> darn raccoon Good picks job. it up. And Good I, job. Yeah, this darn <laughs> raccoon bites me. Oh, where? On oh, my arm. I tripped okay. and fall, literally bites me on my arm, like right here. Okay. I'm looking, I'm freaking out. And, and at this point, because there's such you had a- rabies. Well, there was such a kerfluffle at this point that like Mark comes outside, <laughs> he sees me, I'm like, call an ambulance, I'm freaking out, I've been bitten by a raccoon. And Mark's like, you probably won't die in 20 minutes, like let's get you to the ER. <laughs> right. So we go to the ER and I literally had to have three rounds of rabies shots. And then it ended up- an old yeller. The raccoon did have rabies, Oh! did have rabies, and the shots totally, like if I hadn't gone and just like, it was oh, really wow. important that I went and it totally saved myself. I don't know exactly what would have happened if I would have just like let it go, but words of the wise, if you do get bit by a raccoon, you absolutely should go, go to the ER. Okay, mm. clarifying question. Yes. When the raccoon was attacking you, yes. at any point, did you shart? No, not <laughs> at all. I did scream and scream and scream. It was actually like seriously terrifying because when I was swinging on them with, the rac or with my little rake thing, the bigger the thing that you're using to protect yourself, the more you can get out of control with it. Like start small. Mm. You know? Jonathan, I just Daggers. want to say, I'm sorry that, I know. that probably didn't happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You obviously don't follow if, my gram. If that I'm did happen to you. I'm out here him. with my chicken. I'm going to feel bad. Look at my, look at my, <laughs> look at my gram. It's only like, all I do is talk about chickens. Okay, okay. Outrageous. You all Dana right. Carvey wannabe look away. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! I'm so this sorry. This escalated really fast. I am so sorry. I <laughs> am so smart. Damn! The shade Damn. in the studio right now. I'm, I'm loving this. I cannot Never. see anything. This went from zero to 100 really quick. I cannot. Oh, I'm loving see everything. The shade. <laughs> You Anthony. should see what she says to RuPaul Hello. behind stage when Ru beats us for Emmy. These straights. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I don't even know if I want to tell you my story because you didn't believe me. Yeah. I know they're That's accusatory. Fair. They're so <laughs> accusatory. It's fine. Okay, so I lived in West Virginia for junior high and one year of high school. Which is true. Thank you. Okay. Yep. You really did live there. And um, I lived in this like really weird resort where... <laughs> that is also okay. true. No, it's true. <laughs> Hold on. It's, okay. Okay. it's called... Organic food. No, 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 oh, no, no, let no, me no, preface no, this. Let me preface this. When we all first met Anthony, he would tell us <laughs> stories. We did not know that he grew up with some money. And so he would say things that we would all find very <laughs> outlandish, like you're about to hear. So when you hear things like, it was a resort, this could really be true. I just want, I'm prefacing. Anthony was cool. raised by a resort. I was yes. raised by a resort. Okay. So it was this resort where they had like so a golf course tennis. and there were tennis courts and a pool and a clubhouse where they had really good fried oysters with like a raspberry And shockingly, not a anyway. black person inside. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong, Ken. You're not wrong. There's an international actually, language center. Actually, Barbara yeah. Walters came to the resort way back when <laughs> because they... So everyone had like normal jobs, but I was the only kid who wasn't allowed a car because I wasn't because like- Because he had a driver. Because my- <laughs> No, I didn't. <laughs> and so Bonnie Orr, I loved her. She had a miniature dachshund. Oh, I thought you were about to She was a she was a, <laughs> she was a party planner, and so she started um, hiring me to go to parties dressed up as a certain something. There's actually were photos of this were online. Those, those were the of sex me parties. as Prince Eric from Little Mermaid. Ah, uh -huh. and then that was my first gig. The second one, you I had to dress a lot for parties. Do you know this? <laughs> yes. I did. Didn't didn't yeah. <laughs> so the second one, I had to dress up like Elmo. I had this thing when I was younger, I used to faint quite a bit, like out like of nowhere, goat. and I would get these random nosebleeds. It sounds very Stranger Things, but it's true. Um, and so I passed out in said Elmo suit at a five-year-old's birthday party <laughs> because I didn't drink enough water. I was like too fine. hot. And I terrified the kids and no one ever hired me again. That's and a, then I had to become a French tutor. A so how I did, did you... How did you fall? <laughs> this black film just went over my eyes and then I don't remember anything. So I don't remember falling or anything. I just remember waking up and I had a full nosebleed and they thought my teeth were bleeding because the blood was all around this my mouth, definitely but it was coming from my nose. So how, did, how, did they, how did they bring you out of it? Bonnie's husband is a doctor, Canadian, who originally recruited my dad, who's also a Canadian doctor, yeah. to live there and he took care of it. Some smelling oh. salts. Uh, no. I, I thought it would be that's, tickling. That's, yeah, that's not true. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, sorry, what was the question? 
I just thought it would be tickling. No, I woke up by myself. Oh, it's got it. Tickle me, Elmo. <laughs> it was terrifying. It was traumatic. Elmo so fainting. That does have, I did an internship. When you wake Disney up and you're in a suit and you don't know where you are and you're like sweaty and really and hot and you feel like the taste of the metallic blood in your mouth. Danger. It's, it's a, oh, dan it's a dangerous story. Karamo. When I was in college, I worked at a hotel and I worked the overnight shift because it was the only shift that I could work. And no, it's an 11 to 7 a.m. shift. That's not brown, brown, brown. It's boring. But one night, <laughs> <laughs> one night, um, I was at the front desk and I was looking out the sliding doors and I saw a guy coming with a gun. So I realized we were about to get robbed. So I said, F this. And I ran to the restaurant freezer and locked myself in the freezer while the, re the hotel got robbed. Wait a sec. <laughs> I stayed in the freezer for like three hours because I was scared. He said three hours in the freezer. Three hours in a freezer. <laughs> okay. Maybe it was like two hours. Yeah, you it was a long time. Time slowed down. Yeah, time slowed down. <laughs> no, <laughs> what, happens, what happens when you're freezing? That's, Frostbite, that's, yeah, any... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like two hours. Any it was laughing. like a long time. No, I'm not... No, I don't want you all to be confused <laughs> of the timeline. I was in a freezer for a very long time. Yeah, like, yeah, that is ridiculous. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Three hours! It's a good place to hide. You know we what are the good place to hide. I told you about it. But because I'm telling the truth, if you guys guess me, I win, right? Oh I could God. have died if I would have stayed at that front desk. Uh, none of them seem true. Uh, well, <laughs> that's that. Tan seems true because the elk. Yeah. Sorry, you're never doing this segment again, are you? <laughs> do you have a guess? Yes, I do. Do you want to know it? Yep. I think that the truth teller is Jonathan with the rabies. <laughs> Okay. I, I, okay. I okay. feel it. Okay. Jonathan okay. having okay. rabies okay. is- I got locked in a freezer! <laughs> I said it was Anthony. What? <laughs> Elmo? No way. Would the truth tell her? I lied. It was me. I lied. No! I lied. Please stand. I got locked in a freezer! <laughs> there what? were two. There, there were, were two. two. Uh -huh. yes. We had two chances. Yes. And we both. We <laughs> suck. We suck so bad. So bad. what you'll learn is that we're so the so most honest. So we, wait, we wait, had, can we I say very, a very lovely but misguided stalker? <laughs> And I almost got, I got robbed and locked myself Rhett, in the all I had to I do was so stare hard. into your eyes you and know, you believe. You, 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 yeah. Okay, you're all expert fibbers. Thank uh, you. We're the losers today. We will Thank dance you. with you, but we're gonna dance like losers, okay? okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks so much to the Fab Five for joining us today. Be sure to watch the seventh season of Queer Eye in New Orleans, which is streaming now on Netflix. Oh yeah. Yay! And yes. you need to go over to the Mythical Kitchen channel to watch last week's episode of Last Meals with Karamo. Yay. All right, let's boyfriend. figure out this dance. Woo. and clicking that bell. Now you say you know what time it is. You, you know, know what time, time it is. I'm Maya and this is my family and we're in New Orleans, Louisiana at Turkey and the Wolf. It's and it's time, time to spin, spin the, the wheel of mythicality. Turkey and the Wolf. In New Orleans. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us discover how much we know about core culture, <laughs> nothing actually, in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. I'm being serious. I feel like after you say these things, you should go, Boom, queer eyed, and you should yell it at people. <laughs> I'm just saying, a catchphrase I think could sell more merch. Uh, but no, thank you so much for saying that. Boom, queer eyed! <laughs> he got me. He got me.